first of all, thank you. Um, second, it was uh, uh, very fitting that that we we're able to be at home and be playing on on senior night and have the group contribute the way that they did. When you you, you look at Julian Napravnik. Um, you know, Wide Amat, I thought, had a really good game. Uh, the line of Nebravnik, Furry, and and Borchart uh, were difference makers for us tonight. And I also thought Dryden McKay was. Uh, Bemidji came out and punched us in the mouth early. Uh, shots, I think, at that time, uh, you know, when we ended up scoring a goal, it was uh, seven or eight to one in Bemidji's favor. Um, so they came out and put us on our heels. Uh, and we, we bent but didn't break and mm -hmm. found a way to – to, to make a play with Lucas Souter to, to give us a one nothing lead. And um, I thought we played better from there on out. So a very important win for us because it gives us home ice for the playoffs. Uh, and, you know, and the guys winning a McNaughton Cup together is something that they'll have for the rest of their, their lives. So it's great to be a part of that. And um, now we can, you know, move on to our, our next two games at Tech come Monday. Um, but I hope the guys enjoy themselves and, 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 you know, just enjoy the moment a little bit because it's, it's hard to win league championships. Thanks for that, Mike. Uh, start with uh, Kevin Dudley on questions, please. Mike, I know when you got to MSU, the goal was to be contending for these year in year out, but just talk about five straight and the accomplishment that that is for, for this group and the groups that have come, come before. Yeah. You know what? It's, it's one that you, you don't, you never look at something. I want to make sure that the, this group is, is given its due for the work that they did this year. And I think a lot of that has come in, you know, you look at two guys right away that I think of when you talk about five, because they've been a part of all five or, you know, they're just, you, you, McNeely and Lutz have, have been bricklayers to our program uh, from the guys that were, that preceded them to continue to make us better. Um, in all aspects, uh, what we do on our dailies and what we do, you know, month to month and really for those guys season to season. And then we've got a group of seniors that, you know, have been fortunate enough to be a part of four in a row. Um, and so, you know, for, for that group, uh, very appreciative and for the ones that have come before them, um, but that's a very special feat. Um, and, you know, so like I said, I want them to understand that that's, I, I think it's very difficult to do. And so good for those guys and everybody that came before them. Cole Buell, you have a question. Congratulations, Coach. Um, you went from competing in the Olympics just a few days ago to winning the Cup. Um, you probably went from heartbreak to one of the best feelings in the world. <laughs> Talk about that whole journey um, the past few weeks. Yeah, first of all, the, the experience, the Olympics, as I said last night, was was you know, something I'll remember for the rest of my life. And I will tell you, you're right on the head of the nail as far as heartbreaking and, and, and being with a group of young men for a short period of time, but the bond that our staff and, and that group had uh, was one that we wanted to continue to go for as long as we possibly could. And it didn't go as planned. You know, we, we wanted to be playing today or tomorrow really and, and be able to play in the gold medal game, but that didn't happen. And, um, but very appreciative of the journey with that group and that staff. And then to be able to come back and, and take the work of, of Paul Kirtland and Todd Connaught, uh, our leadership group. And those guys were prepared for this weekend. Uh, they'd done a lot of work to make sure that we were prepared. So uh, for us to have the opportunity to, to be able to do it at home tonight and, and in front of 5,000 plus a sold out ho uh, house um, and, and give a little bit back to them because they've been, with us through this entire journey um so uh, crazy four or five days here but one that again uh, i'm very thankful for shane Frederick, you're up congratulations mike uh ask you a little bit more about dryden because uh, it seemed like that was sometimes his uh stats or his his play gets lost within the stats whether it's total shots or uh, a five one outcome but uh, that that first stretch of ten minutes, um, I don't know how you, how you how you felt about the way you guys were playing in general. Um, but with him getting barraged like that, but was it just a moment that you you see those in games, uh, just th those stretches for him that that really ultimately become important for you to win? Oh, that's an understatement. Uh, first of all, thank you, and, and second of all, right on right on point. Um, 
Bemidji came out and they were convicted as you knew they would be at trying to do everything they can to make sure that we didn't have the opportunity to do what we did tonight. And Dryden was the difference. And there were some point blankers. He had a couple from below the goal line out front to a guy standing all alone. And he was aggressive and got out and got the first one and, and stopped a couple of follow-up shots. It allowed us to get the crowd into the game because they had put us on the heels uh, for the first 10 minutes. And so, you know, it, he's just, he's, he's a problem solver for us. When, when we're, we've got some problems going on, whether it's a team coming out and playing with the pace that Bemidji did uh, or, or us making some mistakes or a combination of the both or of both of those, uh, he just kind of calms the waters. And uh, I will tell you, that's, that's something that's incredibly comforting when you're behind the bench, because, you know, if you make a mistake, it's more often than not, it's not going in the back of the net and allows the guys to get their feet underneath them. Like we did later on in the first period. Kevin Dudley followed by Tim Rapoli. Mike, I know on that, on that top line, it hasn't been Nathan. It's been Furry um, these last two weekends. Just it seemed like they really clicked as, as a group tonight. Talk about maybe the impact that, that they made on the game and kind of gelling some together here as they get more time uh, together. Yeah, you know, we had a – Nathan's not here, and I want to I wanna send a shout-out to him and tell him thank you for the part that he has carried uh, this group multiple times going all the way back to our opening weekend against UMass and the impact that he's had at our program. I don't want it missed um, that, that he had a big part of that. Um, and so congratulations to Nathan. Uh, but that group of three guys that you just mentioned, I thought were game breakers tonight. Um, and we needed him to be, we don't have Smitty. We don't have, you know, um, Ryan Sandlin wasn't in the lineup tonight. So we had some different guys step in. I thought Tanner Edwards made an impact on the game. Um, but the the unit you're talking about were difference makers on the power play and five on five. And we needed them to be. Uh, you want your best players to step forward at the most important time. And all three of them did in different manners, you know, distributing the puck, Julian finishing, uh, Cade Borchart making the play on the wall at the end uh, to give us a two on one rush. And then uh, Brendan Furry making a, a big time offensive play uh, to give it to Julian with an open net and to do it on senior night. You know, to, to have that group have their their parents here, Julian's parents were in from Germany, uh, and for him to have that night is very very special. It's one, like I said, they 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 made some memories tonight, um, so it was it was great to be able to witness that. Tim, coach, not many of us have touched that uh, McNaughton Trophy. I I understand it's forty pounds. What's it like to hoist, and can you just kind of describe its magnificence? Well, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where y y the first time you get your hands on it and, and you're, you're a part of being able to have a group that went and did all the heavy lifting to have you an opportunity to, to grab that thing. It's heavy. Like you, <laughs> you should have saw a couple of the guys faces as they were grabbing it and passing it to each other and skating around the, the rink with it. The history of that trophy, um, I think is it, it speaks for itself. Um, it, it, it's unique. You know, one thing I think hockey does very well is it celebrates itself in a proper manner. The trophy doesn't go to the coaches. It doesn't go to the fans. It goes to the players. It's the ones that do all the heavy lifting. And the McNaughton Cup is something that we're very proud of as a league, very proud of as a university to having the opportunity that we've had to win it. And I'm very proud of it. Um, so it, it's it's unique. Um, and, it, and it's always... I think very special to be a part of something that's unique and it's, it's hard to do. So hats off to the team. Back to you, Shane. Mike, uh, Ryan Sandlin, is it a, a serious injury or is, uh, what, what's his status going forward? You know what? He'll go in and get reevaluated on Monday. Um, so we won't know until then. Um, but it's, it's not a hang now. <laughs> um, you know, it's, we're just going to, hopefully see him get better day to day and we'll learn more about it on Monday. Final question from Mike Hastings. If there is one. All right, Hasty, congratulations. Let's, uh, let's do a good job at Michigan tech next weekend. Hey, thanks for all of you, uh, chiming in here tonight and appreciate everything that you do. Take care. <laughs>